Atlantic Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. A new world order. A new world order. Lies! 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 Coming for you, New World Order! From the front yeah! lines of the yeah! information war, it's Alex Jones. What we're talking about here is right and wrong. Right and wrong. A New World Order. A New World Order. My gorilla annex are to get you back to being a human, folks. That's where you gotta find your main innate will to survive and then channel that into the intellect and the will to culturally throw off the globalist culture of death. Hup, hup. I'm going to be on uh, Savage's show today or tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, for his 20 years of broadcast. That should be interesting. Burner. Let's go ahead and talk to Jeff in Connecticut. Thank you for holding, sir. Hey, Alex, how are you? Thank you for holding during my guerrilla activity. Uh, no problem. Um, I'm just calling to let you know about the activity ramping up here in FEMA Region 1, formerly Connecticut. Yes. About two weeks ago, they started a massive chemtrail campaign. I mean, I've seen it before, but they used to try to hide it. Now, they just don't care. They'll turn it on and off. They'll do loops and circles, grids. And oh, no, they publicly admit they're geoengineering. Bill Gates is involved. He gets paid to do it. And, but we say, what are you spraying? And they just say, go to hell. <laughs> Roll over and die. Enjoy some aluminum. How's, your, how's, your, how's everybody dying of lung illnesses doing for everybody, you know? Yeah, oh, without a doubt. And uh, yesterday we saw, you know, uh, it just started, well, we've seen it before in the past couple of weeks, military jet flying over the house, kind of doing loops around, because I live about 15 miles away from Bradley International Airport, kind of like the doomsday jet. So I know the difference between a military plane oh, and Oh, yeah, the race. doomsday jet was flying around Austin again yesterday. Well, that's what it did. two and two got to put together, because I had seen the evening news, and then I kind of figured out what it was. But uh, one of my questions to you is, I'm about 125 miles from New York City, and they're just they're just really doing this stuff out in the open now, the chemtrails, the planes. My buddy got woke up by black helicopters the other night flying over town. Now, do you really think that they're going to, they probably will nuke New York, huh? They probably will say it and nuke Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, people will love it. Yeah, they love it. And, and you know, they'll, they'll be our saviors, of course. Again, if you're the globalist, what do you do? You attack yourself to take over. Elementary, my dear Watson, and people need to get that through their schnoggin. And then, the, and then they think they'll get the military to go along with it. The issue is the military are our main listeners, and they know what's going on now. And so I, I just would challenge the globalist to back off now. And yeah, that, 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 you know, we need the military on our side. Well, I mean, it's their country, too. It's the police. It's their, it's their country, too. I appreciate your call. God bless you. Let's talk to Dylan in North Dakota here on the air worldwide. All righty. So we got Barack Obama coming out and saying that his biggest fear is a nuke going off in New York City. All right. We've got two missing nukes. OK, Russia confirmed that one of those was detonated in the southern Atlantic, I believe. And we've also got uh, the most recent Batman movie, which we know is a, one of those trigger movies. OK, what happened? A nuke. OK. Um, we got money in America, okay? Uh, the dollar bills, uh, the $20 bill, when you fold it, you know, you get the Twin Towers uh, or the Pentagon. Well, the new $100 bill, there's a video on YouTube, shows the guy uh, debunking it and showing a nuclear uh, sunrise and a tidal wave taking over what? New York City, okay? Well, all I know is they put a lot of deep Masonic stuff into the dollars. That, that's admitted. There's, they make, there's major power and commerce and passing hands. They want to speak it into existence. They follow principles of magic. Doesn't mean I believe it. The elite believe it. And they believe they're speaking in, into existence when they publicly admit what they're going to do beforehand. It's like the Native Americans counting coup. They you know, go up and hit you with a, with a ceremonial club three or four times saying, see, I could have already killed you three times before they actually kill you. And so, uh, no, I hear you. I mean, I think there's a very good chance our Lord and Savior, as Jamie Foxx says, Barack Obama, 
Barack Obama. You can't just say the name once. You will do. You will make him the savior. He will save us. He will save us. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for you.